Hello guys and welcome back to another Final Fantasy 15 tutorial video. My name's Lee and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to catch the Devil of the Sigillian, or Sigillian, however you pronounce it, that's not important. Anyway, Navith will give you this this quest to catch the Devil of the Sigillian and it's going to be a golden key but he's very vague about the type of fish. And if you paid attention at the, the beginning of the video, the fish you're actually looking for is a Merc Grouper. And I uh, I saw him in the morning. That you get, you might be able to catch him at uh, at dusk, but I caught him at dawn. Uh, unless you're level ten, I think level ten, you can see him on your mini map. Until then, he's not going to be there. So you're going to want to to just throw your your lure out and just come back slowly, and eventually you'll see. If you know what a grouper looks like, look for one of them, or you can just. Uh, uh, just until you see a huge fish, just angle over him. And uh, if you do this quest, you will get a whopping 6,000 experience and tranquility, which is a really good rod to have. It has a lot of defense, and it'll help you guys out. And one thing I will mention in, in, in catching him, like getting him on the line, it's uh, I did have to catch some fish around him because they kept attacking first, but you're going to want to use uh, lures that are for merc groupers and and uh and i will go over that here in a second but remember at dawn early in the morning you'll see him he's not going to be your mini map just look for a grouper so i'm going to go over the the late. stuff i use i use dragon beard of course it gives you 2000 durability that's the line a burrer abyss worm as a lure a Death spin for the rod and a Nereid for a reel. And the rod and reel you could buy at the Vesper Pool. It's on the east bank. It's called Bob's, uh, Burt's Bobbers and stuff. I'm sorry. And I think they call six to eight thousand a piece. If you come in with twenty thousand gill, you should be should be good. And I would recommend coming in at a level seven uh, because at level seven you get a a durability drop it's it or a 50 percent less durability drop when fish struggle on the line and that's pretty good uh for this fight i i think you could be lower levels and you should be able to do it fine but this will this one will definitely help you and unfortunately i didn't have any video of me actually getting him on the line but uh as you could tell it it's a long fight and one of the main keys of fishing in, in real life especially because i I love to fish in real life as well. It's it's patience. And you're going to want a lot of this when you're reeling him in. Don't try to just hold the line in and reel him in as quick as you can because he does a lot of durability loss. He's got a ton of stamina. So I found it best to take it easy and, and reel real slow. As you could tell, like what, what I did, um, because he changes directions a lot and he jumps a lot. And I've noticed that a lot of fish, when they jump, they change directions uh, a lot of times they change directions when they land immediately afterwards so after he jumps don't hold the trigger to reel him in just let him pick a direction and then what I did was just tap the line and I, I would just I would just barely hold it because when they change directions however hard you're holding that trigger is how much durability loss you're gonna have so I just barely held it just reeled it in a little at a time a little at a time just slowly whittling him down and this battle could take you i've heard people take 12 to 15 minutes all the way up to 30 minutes i think it took me around 20 so you guys might be able to reel them in faster than me like i said i was just being careful with it and however don't feel bad if it takes you longer it's just however you could get them in get them in because you do get some good stuff from this and you definitely want to, to catch this fish and plus you get bragging rights and th those are always good but as I said before, take it real, real slow, a little at a time. He jumps a lot. He changes directions a lot, and you don't want to uh, for him to take your durability down uh, real far or all the way to the bottom. And, and he can do that. And it takes so long to reel him in. You don't want to redo it. So hopefully you can get it in the first try, uh, especially if you're lower level. Just remember, just take it easy, take it real slow, 
and you are looking for a merc grouper and don't worry about the the line the lure and all that I'm gonna put what I used in the comments below and eventually if you take your time and do everything right uh, don't don't let them beat you you will bring this monster in and the one I caught I think I think it was a hundred and 98 pounds 190 something pounds so so yeah but don't be discouraged if you do fail I mean just get get back on the saddle and and try it again all right I might cut out on me sorry there but uh, yeah if, if you do fail try again eventually you will get them down to the bank and the closer you get them to to the dock the more he seems to turn and everything but that's that's every fish but uh, don't let them don't let them make you nervous. Don't let them uh, intimidate you. You can reel this bad boy in. And it's going to take the whole group to, to carry him in. But that's all the time I have for this video. Um, if I think of anything else, I'll leave it in the comments below. And uh, tell us what you think. Uh, hopefully this video helped you guys. If you have any more tips or tricks to add, leave them in the comments below. Any suggestions for videos, um, for more tutorials or games we should play or, or anything... Let us know. We're open for suggestions. Um, I'm doing a playthrough as well. So if you want to see more or you want to see more tutorial videos, please hit the subscribe button and join us next time. And uh, hopefully we can help you guys out in your playthrough. But that's all from me. And this is Lee. And I'm telling you guys to have a great day. And as always, to stay sexy. And we will see you in the next video. Come on.